Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to work on this uh, 74 John Deere 112 electric lift. The mower deck is seized up on it, of course, but I did get the lift working. So that's good. That's good that that still works. So. I'm going to move the Corvette over there in the yard because I'm going to need all this space here to work on that thing. So stick around. I started this thing up last week. So let's see if it'll start now. I'm going to move over into the yard. See if the door will unlock. Yeah. if the John Deere will start. Okay, so I just got the battery charger on there. It's not charging a battery. I just put it on there because I need to boost. Um, I had it running right before Christmas when I was messing around with some wiring and stuff like that. So let's see if it'll start up for us. Usually it does. Give it some choke. I didn't even have it on boost. <laughs> All right, let's back this thing out of here and we'll get it up here on the concrete. good it smokes a little bit but it's old enough right all right let's check this thing out I think it's got quick releases I'll have to check I never did look at it okay so I believe you pull this out and turn it there should be one on the other side and then there's one here that you just pull out and it unlatches there I believe and uh, same with the other side. And I think that's it other than the belt. So I'll probably go ahead and pull that belt off first. And then, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, that's pretty well tightened up there. <laughs> that's why I brought the screwdriver out. So I'm probably going to have to spray that down and work with it a little bit. So. Yeah, it's start to move. All right, let me get them sprayed down. Get that sprayed down because it's got a bunch of stuff in it. I don't know what kind of shape this deck's in. All I know is it is locked up. So I figured, whoops. 
I'd have to bring something out. So let me get that sprayed down. We'll see if we can get this deck off of here so we can uh, take these covers off and see what's seized up. These old bearings, sometimes, this is a 74, sometimes these bearings, you could get them freed up and re-grease them and they would be all right, but let's just see what's going on with it first. All right, I pulled it a little, I pried it a little bit with this screwdriver, started moving, so. Okay, there's that one. Now I gotta get up underneath. I don't think I can show you that one, but I'll try. <clears throat> All right, let's go to the other side. Try not to get in your way, guys. Okay, it's moving. I figured I can get some of this stuff done. That way it'll be ready once I can save up enough tires, enough money to get the tires and these hubs on the back. I contacted a YouTuber that has I don't know, a hundred of these things. And he's got like a little business, small channel. Contacted him, see if he had any of those rear hubs. He said no, he had to get some too. Uh, but I guess there's a guy on eBay that's remaking them now, so, which is good. I mean, if you got a forge and stuff, it really wouldn't be that hard to make the mold make one there's there's ways I've fixed them before that's got a roller on it didn't know that by welding onto the axle but if the axles good I don't want to do that and also it takes a lot of time to grind it down and make it right but if that's what I got to do I'll do but all right let's get you over here on the next one where you at here there it is. I didn't take my belt off. That's all right, I think. <laughs> all right. Okay, so move that forward. That way it gives me a chance to check these pulleys out. Oh God. Yeah, it's not gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, it's stuck onto the pulley. I know, rubber don't rust, right? Well, it will rust to metal. <laughs> what happens is the metal rusts and then, also there's a certain way you gotta put these belt on. If you put it on backwards, blades will run backwards. Okay. Oh, that popped back in. Awesome. Gotta love it when that happens, right? There we go. Alright. Let me see if I can get that front piece off of there. I forget how they come out. This piece under here. Ah, uh, it's got these roll pins. That's all right. Um, let me mess around see if I can get this belt off of here. All right, let's try to pull this out. move this tractor and then uh, we'll get I'll hose all that out or blow it off or something and then uh, we'll see what's going on with it
Okay, guys, there's something I forgot to show you underneath there that I forgot about. The lift goes here and here, and all it is is your rods that hang down go through here, and then it's just got a little hair clip or hair pin or whatever you want to call it sticks through there. See, back in the day, they didn't just use these things for one thing. That thing will run a tiller, and it'll run a little plow and snow blower and all that because there's a i think it's called a mule gear on the front of that uh that you can hook attachments up to so they wanted these to be easy see if this you know if this wasn't you know setting for 25 years or 20 years or whatever 20 years in a building um yeah i could have took this off with no tools at all because they wanted you to be able to change the implements out real quick because you know that is a garden tractor, you know. It's not a it's not a lawn tractor. It's called a garden tractor because you can attach implements to it. Now like monkeys, it's really not a garden tractor. It's a lawn tractor. But so, you know, you had like especially on the farm, you had big big machinery. Well, if you wanted to till up a garden, you know, not very big, let's say half the size of this yard, you wouldn't want to get out you know, the big international harvester for it. You get on your smaller tractor and use it. Um, so, you know, they were they were real versatile. Um, that's called a very speed or variable drive here. You pull it back, you go slower. You push it forward, and it goes faster. Uh, it's not working. There's a pulley under there. We'll get to that in, in another video. But, so anyway, this thing, I'm gonna have to take the arms off of it. And then there's three bolts in front and two in back. I've got them sprayed down normally. If those were bolts, bolt heads, I wouldn't even spray them because it wouldn't do no good. But since there's a couple threads showing, I went ahead and sprayed them down. I don't know if this has if they're bolts or if they're you know welded in studs or what so well let's go ahead and check it because i haven't seen underneath this thing yet so let's get you on the stand well maybe i can just set you down right here hopefully i don't kick you over or something let's lift this up <laughs> wow i don't think these blades have ever been mowed with you still see the black paint this is the cutting edge and all of them no, there's not a nick in any of them so my guess is they put new blades on this thing and never ran it after that they put new blades on it and parked it so let me see there's one there's one so i don't know there's where the bolts go through Let's just go ahead and try to take one apart and see what happens. I got my stuff set up here. I don't know if it's got enough balls to do it, but let's see. I don't want to break it off. Yeah. All right. Let me go ahead and get you on the stand. We'll speed you up through this. And I'll slow you back down when we pull this cover off. Okay, 
We're seeing this for the first time together, guys. <clears throat> Maybe. Here we go. All right. Well, pretty bad. Well, the deck's all right. I'll get this sprayed off. I might be able to get a wrench or a ratchet or something on here and turn these. I don't know. Uh, my guess is they're probably all locked up. Could just be the belt. Alright. So I'm going to pull that belt off. All I got to do is pull this over and get it unstuck from the pulley. I'll pull this belt off and uh, well first I'm gonna blow it out. Then we'll see which ones are locked up and which ones are not. Okay, pirates and pirates. Here's what we're looking at. Uh, there's not one hole in this deck. There is, however, a little rust spot on that thing I'll have to address maybe. Um, but there, the deck is in perfect shape. Um, this pulley now don't get me wrong guys this is going to need rebuilt this deck's going to need rebuilt but that one's starting to turn that one turns this one starts to and all three of these it looks like yeah this one's starting to move a little bit or seized up so I'm going to have to rebuild this deck it's not that big of a deal to me. I just kind of wanted to see what I was looking at. That's to make this thing mow. First of all, you know, that thing's going to need tires and a battery. Uh, these wheels, you can take them off and spin them around. Let me see something. You can take these wheels off, spin them around, and they'll stick out wider. That was for stability. You know, less chance of tipping over. And also, if you had to get in, you know, it's kind of in line with the front, maybe even in a little bit more. But, and also, mowing around things, you know, you don't want your wheels out real wide. But when I get tires on here, I am going to spin those tires or spin the wheels around so they stick out a little farther. Now, here's an idea, guys. I seen my uncle do. I remember I was probably eight or nine years old, maybe 10 or 11, somewhere in there. He had a little, little old garden tractor he used around the farm and he took a couple old uh, torque converters. You know, we had the junkyard, so we always had that stuff laying around. He took a couple matching torque converters, filled them up with concrete, bolted them onto the wheels. That was his wheel weights. So if you have a couple old torque converters laying around, go for it. I've also seen guys use, you know, lifting weights and stuff like that. Uh, I will have to get some weights for it because I plan on pulling that. Maybe not this, it probably won't be this summer, but definitely next year we're gonna pull it in a garden tractor pulls. So should be fun. But anyway, yeah, I wanna spray these down. I'm not, I'm not even sure how this comes off. I don't know if there's a pin in there or a clip. But I'm going to spray them down. Just see if we can get them to turn. Yeah, they're never... I'll never be... I'll never mow with it, but... Just kind of fun to mess around. So, yeah, that's going to need rebuilt. That spring's okay. Um, I'm not going to need blades, that's for sure. So, it looks like I'm going to need two of those pulleys, one of those double pulleys. 
and uh, see this pulley this pulley doesn't run this top one doesn't run anything it runs on the bottom uh, this is what comes from the motor that turns this this one so let me get sprayed down mess around with it a little bit just for fun and then I, I don't think I'm gonna put it on yet I think I'll put that back on here and take the belt all the way off of that thing of course I'll get new belts and I'll put this on the trailer and take it around back I'll spray it down real good with WD-40 yeah awesome so yeah that's good that the decks in as good a shape as it's in because uh, that'd be cool to be able to to use that every so often so I'll be back with you guys okay guys so that's pretty cool everything freed up I used that wrench there uh, let's see which one was it this was the hardest one when I say hardest I mean it was the hardest one out of the three I didn't really have to put any pressure on anything to uh, to get it to move all the pulley spin of course they'll never be used again uh, those don't the spindles for the blades don't have grease certs if they had grease certs I could bring them back around what you do is and they'd probably run me another season uh, shoot them full of clean grease kick your motor decks on for a minute shut it off grease it again and you keep doing that until all till you see nothing but clean grease coming out and that'll usually get you by another season if they're in half a decent shape like these are i could drill them out and put grease certs in them but the pulleys aren't that great so i think i think i'll just overhaul this whole deck unfortunately i'm gonna have to paint this there's no holes in it but it is rusty so i will have to paint that because i like keeping the nostalgic you know this is all patina here all this rust that's patina there's no rust holes in it just run some some of that fine it's gray oh scotch bright on it a lot of guys will just oil them down they'll mix up a you know some oil and tranny fluid or whatever and they'll just oil them down but i would probably just i would clear coat it uh but i like the nostalgia i don't know but this is definitely going to have to be painted or you know it'll just get really bad the back of this doesn't look bad at all of course you know it'll get it'll get all repainted too just rattle cans so that's pretty cool everything freed up yeah uh yeah too bad them don't have greaserts in them because i could have brought them around and i would have just had to buy three pulleys because this one's spinning but it's a little noisy i actually have one of those pulleys either that one or that one i actually have i think sitting right no i don't this one's too wide <laughs> what a shame but yeah I mean <clears throat> I can rebuild that deck probably for I mean it's all it's all China parts but I'd probably rebuild that thing for around 75 bucks and get get the blades I don't need the blades but if it comes with a kit I'll hang them on the wall I'll probably never get used this will just be a backup mower for when monkeys breaks down I don't like John Deere's guys I like to work on them I mean look at that if I want to pull that engine you know I got to get down underneath there and I've been under there before and then bolts aren't easy to get to to hold that motor on um, big tractors international harvester the older the better I like this is my opinion guys you know like the farmalls love the old farmalls grew up on a 47 1947 formal a which was uh one size bigger than the cub i do believe uh you know if it ain't red leave it in the shed <laughs> 
but I wanted to save this because I knew no one would save that. They would, it would just go straight to junkyard because that thing probably weighs 800 pounds with that deck on it. That's no joke. It probably, if I had to guess, that'd be around 800 pounds. So, you know, and when scrap, scrap like this is by the ton, you know, that's almost half your money right there of just one ton. But I just love taking stuff like this. I don't like restoring them. Like if I paint that, I'm not gonna call it a restore because I'm not restoring this thing. I wanna, you know, just kind of keep it the way it is. I'm Like I said, I may shoot a coat of paint on it, but I mean, this is cool. These are usually gone inside of here they get cracked up this one has a few little cracks but it's still there and this steering wheel is in perfect condition not one crack in it it's in perfect condition a little nick there but it's not a crack the steering is okay it steers easy um you know just something for setting over 20 years you know and you drag it out you couldn't even see the motor because of all the squirrel stuff in it and uh pack rats yeah we got pack rats around here if you don't watch them they'll get in your cars and trucks and whatever um I, I, you know i just like to save old stuff like this uh would i ever get rid of it hell yeah especially if i can get me a a formal cub or a formal a of course that's not worth you know these things ain't worth a whole lot of money uh but yeah if i could come up with something else that's old preferably older than that i'd like to have something from the 30s 40s maybe early 50s is what i'd like to have and something a little bigger than that but you know it's fun it was free i have how much money i got in this the carburetor i think it was 12 bucks i got like 12 bucks in this thing i got a lot of time i gotta get a tank my tank the one we soldered up on it soldered fine and didn't leak and the tanks in perfect condition except for where the cap goes on that rusted out and the cap will never stay on it so i'll have to get me a, a tank for that thing um but yeah so there it is i'm going to throw that spring back on so don't get lost i'm going to throw that cover back on as you can see i've got it sprayed down real good with wd-40 i used about a half a can of that big can a wd-40 i used about a half a can on it come out a couple times a month and just spray it down and um, that should stop that rusting because it does evaporate but in the meantime until it does it'll be soaking into all that rust and it'll keep it from getting rusty er <laughs> so I don't think I'll have to worry about the bottom I may shoot it down later but it's gonna be sitting like that so all right guys i'll be back with you let me get some of this done uh like i said i'm just going to put that old back i'll probably put the belt on it just uh so it doesn't get lost and then i'll be back with you guys yeah you guys know me better than that don't you all right it's just kicking on of course i'll never mow with it number one i don't have tires <laughs> and number two it's just never going to mow with those parts in it but let's just kick it on and see what happens all right let's you know just for fun let's give it a shot That's funny. It stayed on for a minute, didn't it? I think the inner belt came off because when I was spinning it, it was kind of running like on the edge. No. It was this belt. 
Oh, the main belt fork came off. All right, let me fix that. Let's give it another shot. That was pretty cool. All right, let's try it again. That's funny. All right, guys. Well, we know what the mower deck needs. I figured it was gonna need a rebuild, but anyway, I gotta get pulled back around here and get it parked. All right, guys, so that's pretty cool that, you know, we got it to where it's been. I didn't think that was going to happen, but when I put that, I put the belt back on in the spring and everything so I wouldn't lose it. And I thought, you know, <laughs> all I really got to do is throw it up under there. And let's try it. I believe that... If I had tires on here, it'd probably cut the grass a couple times before bad stuff started happening. And by that, I don't mean like stuff blowing up. I mean, just like the belts coming off and stuff. Came off that one time, but it came off up here. I thought it was going to come off, if anywhere, down underneath the deck. So, but yeah, that's pretty fun. I always run this thing out of gas whenever, uh, whenever I park it, so... It's not charging so hopefully it's not the alternator if it is I got an extra pulley up here I probably just put a single wire GM alternator on it uh, I don't know we'll just have to see it could be that, that regulator I don't know that's something we'll have to look at later because um, it's got it'll run without it being on charger that's because there's a little bit of juice in that battery not enough to crank it but there is a little bit of juice enough to run it um, so yeah I think I'll measure the truck battery I think it's gonna to be too big but ah, that's all later on just kinda just kinda messing around uh, I, man I can't wait to get tires on this thing then I can at least ride it around here you know up and down the street, take it down to the store. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, guys, anyway, appreciate you watching, supporting my channel. And, uh, yeah, we'll see all, all you, we'll see y'all guys. We'll see all you guys and girls in the next one. So, with that being said, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. Cars, they're going by. Whenever I have the camera off, honestly, there might be one car go by. I turn the camera on and what was that, two, three, whatever, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Take care. Don't forget to check out Monkey's channel. So, we'll see you soon.